Tom, obviously, a lot of big plays in the first half, especially in the past game. Uh, I'm not a lot of what did you see that went wrong in the first half? Yeah, I just uh, um, gave up some double moves. Some of our best guys didn't beat one on one. Um, it was a disappointing uh, question. Um, played a lot of the things we really believed in the first half. And made some adjustments to that question, giving them some help. And uh, we obviously needed to get that help. Um, but uh, felt like we didn't take advantage of some of those things in the first half. Those, those three big pass plays really were the, were the difference for us. Uh, really uh, disappointed in that. Just let us down in the first half, and uh, um, so we did. We made some adjustments coverage-wise, to help those guys out. But uh, um, just not something that we're used to doing in, in those ways like that. Um, but uh, at the same time, you got to be a complete defense. You know, we stopped the run today, but we got to stop the pass. So we got to play four quarters. So we just dug, dug too deep a hole for ourselves in that first half. Zach, Zach, and Matt. Kind of a, a bizarre question. We've asked about the rhythm of this offense, and there have been moments when it has looked just kind of really smooth and efficient and in tune, and moments when it, it's really just sort of seemed like it wasn't all joined up, I guess. Like, as a defensive coach, but also as a head coach who's, who's sort of examined offense through both of those lenses in the last few years, where do you feel like this offense is in terms of maybe finding whatever its kind of optimal efficiency is? Yeah, you know, I think that uh, there's no question that get that first first down and that's where we want to be able to emphasize and be able to get in the rhythm and flow and when we do that you know a lot of good things can happen and uh, got a lot of different weapons and, and uh, so when you put yourself behind the chains then they can lay their ears back and which is what they're able to do because of the score that really hurts as the game progresses but but I think that you know it's, it's just critical that you stay um, numerically where you need to be in terms of the chains and I think that really affects us in a negative way. Um, and uh, I like the things we're able to do with it, uh, but we weren't consistent in our execution. To me, that was really key today. Um, and then it just kind of snowballed as we, um, the lead got further and further away from us in the first half uh, because the defense was giving up big plays. And then uh, also, I think you know, we had some special teams penalties consistently that put us back and made us, you know, it started inside the 15, inside the 10. And it's really hard to drive the ball 90 plus yards against anybody, let alone a really good defense like Cincinnati. So uh, I thought those really, really were set offense back too, let the uh, defense kind of lay their ears back on them. But, but uh, definitely didn't play um, to the way we know we have to play, obviously. And, um, just didn't establish ourselves up front. But I think from your question, it's, just a, it's a matter of getting that first first down, getting the rhythm we need, and when we play the tempo we need. And sometimes, you know, it's, 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 it's fast at times, it's faster, and it's sometimes just you know, being able to adjust to what they're doing. And, using our, our looks and being able to get the call we want per the, the defense that we're getting. So uh, try, you, want to be a, you want it to be a good combination of those three things. And so to me, uh, we didn't really feel good about the rhythm we had you know, throughout the game. Matt and Sammy. Coach, the last two weeks, a little bit of a trend of the offense off to a slow start. I mean, getting better in the second half. But I mean, anything you can really pinpoint, I mean, I know it's concerning, but I guess how concerning is this that you, they keep kind of getting off these slow starts? And, yeah, it's concerning. Know. There's no doubt because then you start getting developing a pattern. You know, and so uh, first year you go through it, you have your, your growing pains, and you have some new guys. And you know, now it's, you know, in the week four, and it needs to be, you know, it needs to be behind us. You know, so, but first time on the road, but you got to really handle that. So uh, it's, that's the reality of what's ahead. But, uh, you know, yeah, it definitely has to be a point of emphasis. It's not that it hasn't been, but obviously not good enough because we're still struggling to get uh, off to a fast start on offense because it has to happen. So uh, we got to make some changes and how we're practicing to be able to get what we need to get to, to get where we want to be. Sammy the Griffin. Uh, coach, the last 32 seconds of the first half, they score a long pass, they get the fumble. Just take us through that. I believe there was a fourth and one false start, too. Yeah. Um, just yeah. take us through that sequence. Well, I would just say, you know, it sounded like you didn't, you didn't you know, take a knee or run the football and get out of the half. It was obviously a tough half, but obviously we're trying to get in field goal range. We got a really good kicker. You know, we felt like you get a couple shots to get him to the, to the opposite 40 yard line. And that was, that was really the goal with the 30, I think it was 32 or 33 seconds left when we first had the ball. Uh, but then you get the sack, cost fumble, and um, it's disastrous to have them get a scoop and score right before half, and we just go by four scores instead of just three. So you're trying to cut it to, you know, down by 21, hopefully get a field goal, got right four half with, with the kicker we believe in, can kick a you know, 55, 56, 57 yard field goal. So uh, that was the thought process there, and even just before the, 
the fourth and one, just trying to make some happen. We, we jump off sides, which is inexcusable to me. Uh, but that just was typical for tonight. There's too many mistakes in all three phases. Griffin, then Mason. Coach, it seems that a common theme in these press conferences has been the issue of consistency this season. How exactly do you go about fixing that? What kind of things do you implement in practice to try to fix something as broad as that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for me, you know, obviously what we're doing needs to be reevaluated because it's not, it's not, we're not creating the change we want. So if you want to you know, get something different, you got to change what you do every day. So that will be the next step. Uh, but I think, you know, to me, uh, you have to, do it practice, you know, first before you do it in the game. So, to me, and that's probably been, you know, we felt better about today coming into this one in terms of our execution. Um, but uh, obviously, you know, sometimes when you go through your scouting course, you got to decide how much do we go against each other to create more of that intensity to help us get a better look potentially uh, from from the uh, other side of the football to help get our guys ready because it is about consistent execution. That's really to me uh, what's been what's been our human seal so far, and uh, you know, the lead was too too much to overcome in the first half for our, for our team. Mason and Tyler. Coach, you guys have uh, kind of just sticking on the theme of consistency with the running game. Um, you guys threw the ball 66 times today. You guys dropped back to pass a few more, even though there were some sacks. What what are you guys looking to do moving forward to kind of maintain that balance and maybe reestablish that aspect of the game? Yeah, I think, you know, part of it, you get, get so far behind, it makes it tougher for sure. But, uh, yeah, to me, it's about trying to find creative ways to run football, you know, and be able to take advantage of what we have and our strengths of our team. And we have two really good backs, I believe, that can make plays for us. And, and you got to give both those guys a chance, you know. So, but, uh, yeah, to me, it's about just being able to create, I wouldn't say necessarily balance in regards to even numbers, but, but the, the, the effectiveness has to be there. we got to be able to have the threat of the run game. We know that. And uh, did have some good things going uh, at times. Um, but uh, a lot of that was negated yard twice by all the sacks. Which is, which is the reality of how the game works. But, but uh, so to me, that's just a, it's a complete team effort uh, offensively as a staff and as a team trying to find ways to, to, to create a run football. Tyler, the next. Coach, uh, down by a lot at the end of the first half, um, and then obviously you guys come back in the second half and seem more composed. What was uh, the message at halftime? What was the, what was the mood at halftime? What, what about that, I guess? So was there anything you can think of that kind of helped turn things around? Like, well, I mean, I think our guys, you know, the challenge was simply, you know, we got to play our style of football. You know, we got to be able to, to execute. We got to come out there. We got to flush the first half. Can't do anything to change it. And I talked about, you know, finding out what this team's made of, what kind of character we are. You know, we talked about having great character, having great, having those kind of qualities. You know, we have never been down by 28 in the first half this season. You know, so um, I wanted to see who I can count on when things get hard. I wanted to see who we can trust them when, when, when uh, you know, everything's going against us. And so um, I was proud of the guys for responding without question. No doubt that's a positive thing, uh, but uh, sometimes the hope's too deep when you play a really good football team. So, uh, so really the focus has to be. And I think this team has character. This team has fit, fight and grit. I don't think there's any question about that. But uh, you can't, uh, you know, get down by four scores in the first half. Next, and then we'll wrap Zach. Coach, there have been a few times where you guys have kind of really come out again, like Tyler was saying, strong in the second half. But it's been like a little slow in the first half. It, a few times, what do you think you need to do to get the guys playing like they are coming out of the second half in the first? Yeah, tell them it's halftime. <laughs> Not before we start. You know, so um, it's frustrating, you know, because we work really, really hard, man. And we work really, really hard uh, and not to come out at a high level of intensity. And, and, uh, um, and I guess I, I don't know if it's, you know, to me, you know, some of the mistakes on defense to me were just you know, some one-on-one -on -one guys getting beat, you know. It's disappointing. Uh, what it wasn't that we weren't locked in, focused in terms of playing hard. It's, that's really never been the issue, I don't think. Uh, it's been more execution on offense and, and making sure we're disciplined with our eyes on defense. You know, so. Uh, but uh, um, yeah. So bottom line is that um, you know things didn't go today today the way we wanted them to go. So what are you going to do? You know, we're going to go back to work. We're going to focus on what we got to get better. This team's going to fight. This team's going to improve. And uh, we had a great challenge to the guys in the locker room, and, and that's, that's what this team's all about. You know, it's uh, uh, one game that doesn't make or break your season. Uh, very disappointing performance without a question. We've got to take ownership of it, and, and it's, it's my responsibility to get this team ready to play. And so we've got to find a way to get us ready to start out of the game fast next week, and that's going to be the focus all week long. So um, that's where we're at. Appreciate you guys. <coughs> Elio.